You may have heard of the term mirrorless camera so much. Mirrorless camera. Mirrorless camera. Mirrorless camera. That whenever you see a mirrorless camera, you get angry. Mm. But what if I told you there is actually a real mirrorless camera with classic features and specs? You don't believe me? Then watch to the end, and let's find out together. Don't forget to subscribe for more tech product reviews. One of the most popular mirrorless cameras in the Fujifilm portfolio, and even on the market, is the Fujifilm X100V. It is the fifth of the Fujifilm X100 series cameras, hence the V at the end, which is the Roman numeral for five. Through the previous series, Fujifilm's concentration was on the iteration of the camera and making the sensors big, but the X100V takes all the upgrades and puts them in a smaller package. Before we get into the non-technical components and how they come together with the technical components to make your photos look great, let's take a look at the technical specifications. Starting off, the model name for this camera is the Fujifilm X100V, which is pronounced X100V and packs a whopping 26.1 million effective pixels. The camera features a 23.5 mm X, 15.6 mm APS-C X-Trans CMOS 4 sensor with a primary color filter. Moving from the sensors, let's look at the lens. The lens of the X100V is a Fujinon single focal length lens with a focal length of 23 mm and a maximum aperture of f2.0. The lens is configured as eight elements in six groups, with a four-stop ND filter. Controlled with a nine-blade aperture diaphragm, there is an aperture of f2 ff16 with a 1-3 EV step. It can focus with a range of approximately 10 cm to infinity, which is about 3.9 inches to infinity. The conversion lenses are wide, tele and off. The exposure control on the X100V is a TTL-256 zone metering system, multi-spot, average, and center. Weighted with four different exposure modes, P or program AE, A or aperture priority AE, S or shutter speed priority AE, and M or manual exposure. The type of shutter used by the X100V is the lens shutter, which has three different modes and speeds. The mechanical shutter has the following speeds, 4 sec, to 1 4,000 seconds, 30 seconds to 1 4,000 seconds, 15 minutes to 1 4,000 seconds, and up to 60 minutes at PASM and bulb modes, respectively. The electronic shutter also has the following speeds, 4 seconds to 1 32,000 seconds, 30 seconds to 1 32,000 seconds, 15 minutes to 1 32,000 seconds, and 1 second fixed at PASM and bulb modes, respectively. Lastly, the combined mechanical and electronic shutter has 4 seconds to 1 32,000 seconds, 30 seconds to 1 32,000 seconds, 15 minutes to 1 32,000 seconds, and up to 60 minutes at PASM and bulb modes, respectively. The focus of the camera has three modes, single AF, continuous AF, and MF. The type of focus used is intelligent hybrid AF, TTL contrast AF, or TTL phase detection AF. In low light, the contrast is at negative 2.0 EV, and the phase detection is around negative 5.0 EV. The AF frame selection is EVF, LCD, 139, 25, 17, changeable size of AF frame, 33, 55, 77 from 117 areas on the 139 grid, and up to 18 areas for the single point, zone, and wide tracking AF, respectively. Thinking about how to take pictures without a flash? No problem. The X100V has a super intelligent flash, which is effective anywhere within the range ISO 1600, approximately 30 centimeters to 7.4, and a guide number of about 4.4, ISO 100 meters. Also, the flash has TTL mode, manual mode, commander mode, and off mode. Not only that, but there are also two sync modes, the first curtain and the second curtain. Next up, the X100V has a hybrid viewfinder and several specs. First, let's take a look at the OVF. This has a reverse Galilean viewfinder with a bright frame electronic display and a coverage frame area, versi, capturing area of approximately 95%. Lastly, there is a magnification of approximately 0,052. For the EVF, there are approximately 369 million dots of OLED color viewfinder with a 100% coverage frame area versus capturing area. Other features of the EVF include a 16.8 meter eye point, a minus 4 to 2 meter x 1 diopter adjustment, a magnification of 0.66x with a 50 millimeter lens, and about a 30 degree diagonal angle of view. 
One more thing. The EVF also has a built-in eye sensor. In terms of display, there is a 3-inch LCD monitor with a 3.2 aspect ratio. Also, there is a 1.62 million dot tilting touchscreen color LCD monitor with 100% coverage. For recording movies, the format is movie with MPEG-4 AVC H.264 compression. You shoot your movies in 4K and full HD modes. However, it is advisable to use an SD memory card with three or more UHS speed classes. For connectivity, it has Bluetooth 4.2, which can operate within the frequency range of 2402 MHz to 2480 MHz. There is also a USB Type-C HDMI micro connector and microphone slot. The X100V is powered by an NPW126S Li-Ion battery. The battery is estimated to last for about 350 or 420 frames of still images, 45 minutes of 4K, and 50 minutes of full HD video modes. On the outside, the camera has a 128-point Eromino Mibam X 74.8 meter X 53 millimeter dimension and weighs about 478 grams with the battery and about 428 grams without the battery and SD memory card. For optimal performance, the camera should be used in temperatures ranging from zero to 40 degrees Celsius and 10 to 80% humidity with no condensation. When you set it up, it takes about 0.5 seconds to be ready. <laughs> Some of the other accessories you get when you buy the Fujifilm X100V are a Li-Ion battery, NPW126S, a lens cap, a clip attaching tool, a metal strap clip, a protective cover, a shoulder strap, a hot shoe cover, and a USB cable, types A to C. Key features. The X100V, apart from the technical specs, features a new and elegant body. The top and bottom plates of the X100V's timeless body are manufactured from pieces of aluminum, resulting in a refined and classic camera body with clean, appealing edges. The X100V, with its beautiful satin coating, is a perfect combination of design and engineering that is sure to make photographers of all levels happy as they create images. The purpose of the new 23mm f2.0 lens is to make sure that every detail from the X-Trans Kiamos 4 sensor is beautifully resolved. The new lens has better resolution, improved close focus, and lower distortion. The ability to still attach the legacy WCL-TCL lens gives additional angles of view of about 28mm and 50mm on 35mm format. Being able to choose the right magnification for your photos is something every photographer desires, and that is exactly what you get from the X100V. The new and enhanced hybrid viewfinder enables you to switch between the magnification suitable for your photo in just a few seconds. Thanks to the EVF's higher resolution display, your images are exactly the way you see them. Low light performance is another thing every photographer looks at when deciding on a camera to buy. The Exxon V's quad-core X processor ensures smooth processing of pictures in just a blink of an eye. The processor helps boost AF performance through a newly developed algorithm for focusing. Because of this, it can operate as low as 5 EV and allows for easy focus and quality pictures to be taken even in low-light conditions. You can also record high-definition photos faster. For example, you can record 4K videos up to 30 FPS or capture 120 FPS at 1080p for slow motion effects. Several other features, like monochromatic color, can also be added to make your video stand out. The most important of them all is battery life. With every new release, it is expected that the battery life will improve, and the X100V is no different. It can last up to 350 frames per charge or 420 frames per charge when using EVF and OVF, respectively. When shooting videos or movies, the battery can last up to 55 minutes for 4K videos and 75 minutes for Full HD. Price At the time of recording this video, the Fujifilm X100V digital camera was going for $2,280. Overall, the Fujifilm X100V is one of the best digital cameras on the market. With so many features and specs, you are sure that your camera delivers exactly what you bought it for. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments section below and we'll make sure to check them out. Don't forget to like and share this video as well.